Hey, 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 what is up, Swift Games here, and today I'm bringing you a Bad Company 2 video on why I think this is maybe the best Battlefield game, or one of them, if not the best. So if you enjoy this video, please drop a like, and if you are new to the channel, please subscribe. So let's get into the video. So today we will be going over why Bad Company 2 is such a good game and why many people love this game. Having recently played Bad Company 2 with no past experience with it, I think it is still a very enjoyable game to play. The first reason why this is such a great game is the simplicity. Now with Battlefield 4 we have tons of guns, attachments, and more. With over 100 guns, there just ends up being some irrelevant guns in the game. Even with DICE's support, there are just too many guns for them all to have unique effective ranges along with their class. Although you can just about use any gun and do good with it, there are certain ones that will just be more effective no matter what. And the attachment system is just terrible. With multiple attachments that do the exact same thing like the stubby grip and the potato grip, just like the guns you have to use sim thick to actually understand how well the gun and attachment performs with Bad Company 2, the less complicated system works great. You choose a primary or secondary a gadget, two specs, and a vehicle spec. The list is much longer for Battlefield 4. With a simple class and weapon setup, it makes choosing the best loadout easy and simple for anyone to understand. Another great thing in Bad Company 2 is the maps. With Bad Company 2 maps, were made around either the modes Rush or Conquest in mind while designing the maps, unlike in Battlefield 4, where just about every map was made for Conquest, which most succeeded as good maps for Conquest, but there were still some that were not good, and they also lacked off in other popular modes, like Rush and Team Deathmatch. With Bad Company 2 making some maps around Rush, it made the mode much better for both sides, like offense and defense, rather than it has been in recent Battlefield titles. Also on this topic, the maps just play better. With Battlefield 4 having so many vehicles and large maps, enjoyable large firefights seem to rarely happen because the maps are just so large it seems to cause players to just run back and forth from flag to flag and see the occasional small group of enemies, and generally those fights are not near flag, so there's, they don't stick around very long. To me, one of my favorite things is the intense firefights when you and other friendlies group up together to take an objective with an enemy group trying to stop the attack. With flags closer and smaller maps, these large firefights happen more often in the game than they do than in Battlefield 4. Another thing I like is the ghillie suits that recons get. To me, newer recons are just too easy to see, and I think the ghillie suits work well for concealment. Currently, I think snipers are too easy to spot and kill, which the ghillie suit would work well to keep them hidden. Sniping takes some skill, and to me, snipers could be a little bit more effective in Battlefield, although the suit makes more good for concealment. Players still have to play smartly and avoid minimal movement, because that does give away your position. Though I do not like how you cannot go prone in this game, which is one of my few small problems with it. The final thing I will go over is the launchers and air vehicles. To me, I like having powerful air vehicles that require squads to work together so they can take out the enemy chopper. In BF4... You have Stinger and Iglas, which are always two hit kills on air vehicles, which takes the skill pretty much out of them because it's just you fire it and you forget it with the lock-on features. With only fire and forget launchers, along with wire-guided ones, you have to work together to take out enemy choppers. You either have to shoot it down with an RPG, which takes quite a lot of skill, use a tracer dart to lock onto the enemy chopper, or you also have to use like turrets and vehicles to take them out. With these ways to take out aircraft, some require you and your teams to work together, which is something DICE is trying to do, and I see they're, at least with Battlefield 1, making some positive steps moving towards that. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like on it, and if you want to see more content along this line, please subscribe. So, that's about it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you later. Swift Games, out.